हे गाइस हेलो एंड वेलकम टू जेन इनोवेशंस गाइस अ बैटरी हाइड्रोमीटर इज एन ऑसम टूल टू कीप अ टैब ऑन द हेल्थ ऑफ योर बैटरीज सो अ हाइड्रोमीटर हेल्प्स यू चेक द स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी ऑफ योर बैटरी एज वेल एज मेजर द इंडिविजुअल सेल्स समथिंग व्हिच अ मल्टीमीटर कांट डू वेरी इजीली सो व्हेनेवर यू बाय अ हाइड्रोमीटर इट विल बी समथिंग लाइक दिस इन काइंड ऑफ पैकेजिंग and guys if you want to buy this kind of a hydrometer then a lot of buying links will be waiting for you in a description below make sure to go ahead and check it out if you have any kind of a solar system or a lead acid battery bank then having a neat hydrometer is very nice to have make sure you unwrap the packaging very carefully because it will come in a different parts so let's just do that and good packaging material is very important because i have seen that a lot of hydrometers break in the journey so here are the two main parts this is the body or the shell of the hydrometer and there is something very special inside this paper and here is the heart of this hydrometer often known as the pill or the capsule so this is the thing which actually floats and helps measure the specific gravity of the electrolyte inside your lead acid battery and here before using this hydrometer we'll have to assemble it first and assembling is actually pretty easy and there are two ways so one method would be to go over here you can try removing this bulb but it's usually very stiff and there's another method over here so you can try removing this tip which is slightly easier than removing the bulb so i'll be using this uh, tip method so here off it goes and now we are ready to insert this pill inside the hydrometer but uh, before installing the direction of this pill is uh, very important so whenever you are using the hydrometer it will be something like this so it will be like this in a vertical position this bulb will be on the top and hence the pill which we need to insert would be like this so the bulbous area is here on the top and here this uh, bulbous area or this uh, balloon like area would be at the bottom so you can see something like this so i'm going to insert this pin like so in it goes guys if you get this thing wrong or if you insert the pin upside down then your hydrometer is not going to work so make sure you insert it correctly after the pin is uh, done with we'll put this thing back on and sometimes these things are pretty stiff so you want to exercise uh, due caution when installing these things back so here i've just put this thing on make sure it nice and secure and tight you don't want any kind of electrolyte leaking and uh, leaking electrolyte is uh, no fun believe me guys so here we are finally ready but there is one little test which you should do before using a hydrometer and you should make sure that it is actually holding the vacuum so what you can do is you can press this bulb so here i have pressed this right and here you can block this and now yeah that is a sign of a good hydrometer so it should hold pressure or vacuum actually vacuum is a better word something like this see let's try this again so i pressed on the bulb i block it over here and now it is holding this vacuum very happily if your uh, hydrometer is not holding this vacuum then it might be possible that there's a puncture over here somewhere and sometimes the seals are not very good so you can try reseating uh, this uh, hydrometer once again but still if it does not help then you should go ahead and uh, return your hydrometer so that is it for this uh, little video guys but uh, don't go away just yet make sure you hit that uh, red subscribe button down below because in the next coming videos we are going to actually use this hydrometer and i'm going to tell you how to properly measure the specific gravity of your lead acid battery using a hydrometer so that's it for this little video guys i hope you liked it take care and have a nice day